Welcome to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use Infinity Oracle deck. Once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music. Let's get into energy. I need a clap, clap, clap. You see me doing my thing. I need a pat, pat, pat on my back. You tell me to clap. I need a clap, clap, clap. You see I'm winning the game. I need a clap, clap, clap. Me. They give me side eyes. Because I be with the winners and wise They call me fly nine. Because I be in the air like five five. They want to connect with me. They want to have sex with me. Because I got the rest of me to get you to your destiny. I'm a titan. Bad bitch, I'm enlightened. Around the light skin. We got bad vibes, I don't like them. Want some shady shit and be fighting. Give me a dumb trash, don't hype them. Just chase chicks and don't wipe them. Left them on red while I'm typing. Uh, by any means, I'ma get it. Whatever they said I did, I did it. I'm ready to say it. Get to the money and I'm his favorite. See what I did, did there? I had a big, big year. See what they doing over there? Nah, I really don't care. I need to clap, clap, clap. You see me doing my thing. I need a pat, pat, pat on my back. Tell me congrats. I need a clap, clap, clap. You see I'm winning the game. I need a clap, 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 baby. Glitch told me come and get it. Hit it, you turn, what's the pivot? Good thing I did it. I was two minutes from quitting. Cause I know that I'm a star, a top model, face tire. A big bull, she a scholar. And I'm getting to the dollar. I don't do beauty parlor. Pulling up if I call her. Everything I do is baller. Everything I do is bench. I don't really do the friendly. I had bitches try to end me. I ain't really like the energy. Come to think they tried to limit me. But I've been cooking up the chemistry. By any means, I'ma get it. Whatever they said I did, I did it. I don't write, I just say it. Get to the money and I'm his favorite. See what I did, did there? I had a big, big year. See what they doing over there? Nah, I really don't care. I need to clap, clap, clap. You see me doing my thing. I need a pat, pat, pat on my back. Tell me congrats. I need a clap, clap, clap. You see I'm winning the game. I need a clap, clap, clap. I need a clap, clap, clap. You see me doing my thing. I need a pat, pat, pat on my back. Tell me congrats. I need a clap, clap, clap. You see I'm winning the game. I need a clap, clap, clap. Okay, I hope everybody is doing well. Y'all know that it's another full moon, y'all. And you know how this wicked bitch and her friends get. They getting out that black magic key, okay? Dressed in all black, okay? Trying to sit up here and fuck with you, Divine Feminine, okay? But, um, yeah, uh, nothing is going to happen, okay? Whatever black magic is spell work, a hex is voodoo curses. That shit's going right back to the sender. And if you need me to send it back, I will, okay? But, yeah. Let me go over the services that I provide really quick, and then we'll get straight into this reading. I provide a protection bubble that covers you with the blood of Jesus. It prevents any harm, danger, or evil coming towards you for 90 days for $22. Also have a family protection bubble bundle, which is for one adult up to four children. We still got to keep our children protected against molestation, abuse, generational curses, bullying. This protection bubble will come in handy when you're not around your children to give them that extra protection and that is for one adult and up to four children for $44. Also do cord cutting which severs any ties to any unhealthy toxic narcissists, ex-lovers, toxic family members, co-workers, neighbors, anybody that's not for your highest good. Please google the benefits of getting a cord cutting and I do those for $55. Also do reversal spell work. I can remove curses, voodoo, hexes, any kind of black magic or spell work that has been done on you. I can send it back to sender right away, okay? If you do not have any money whatsoever and you need special prayer, please leave in detail what you need the prayer to indicate or reach out to me through my email, which is innocencetarot at gmail.com. Once again, that's innocencetarot at gmail.com, okay? And we're about to get into this reading. If you need any additional other information or um, about any other services, merchandise, please feel free to reach out, okay? So let's get into it. Let me drink some water, y'all. It's been hot as hell in California. I don't know about y'all, but ooh. Jesus, okay? Just be thirsty more than you hungry out here, okay? 
it's just some in the air. It's going to be a cold winter, and it's going to be an earthquake, okay? Because this is just too hot, miserable hot, okay? But, yeah, make sure you guys push that like button, subscribe. And, yeah, let's get into this reading, okay? So it looked like Divine Masculine is chained up. He's chained up, okay, with this karmic partner, okay? That he sat up here, decided to sit up here and go back to, wanted to work it out, recommit to, okay? Feeling chained the fuck up to this karmic, okay? And wishing that he could sit up here and be in your arms, okay? Divine Masculine miss how sweet and how nurturing you are and everything. Wishing that he could at least just get a hug, okay? Missing you, okay? Just want to be in your energy, okay? And feel stupid, okay? Divine Masculine is hurting. He's hurting. He wants to sit up here and communicate with you, okay? And Divine Masculine is also hurting, okay? He also hurting because he was sitting up here chained up to this musty mouth ass bitch, okay? And he's hurt because he didn't reach out to you, okay? He didn't communicate what was going on, and he's real hurt by the whole situation, okay? That he let this karmic sit up here and Basically, what well, he's using her as a scapegoat. He play a part and she do too, okay? But Divine Masculine got his own mind. He was so busy, okay, on making this karmic feel like she was that bitch, okay? And he did not reach out, communicate, ghost to you, stop sitting up here communicating. And he's feeling upset and mad that he didn't reach out to you, okay? Divine Feminine, since your Divine Masculine did not communicate, okay, did not speak or say anything to you, you closed out that cycle. You done blocked him out your life, okay? You don't want to communicate with him. You letting it go, okay? Because when you was waiting for communication, he never did reach out. He never did sit up here and speak his peace, okay? You did nothing but love this man and you felt some type of way that this man didn't even have enough decency to even reach out to you through text, through the telephone, okay? And this is the reason why you are blocking him, okay? Divine Masculine knows that you are hurt, and Divine Masculine knows that the he knows the reason why you have let go, okay? Because he played himself and he hurt you, okay? And he's hurt too, okay? He really is, okay? Divine Feminine. You no, no longer want to sit up here and have no sex, okay? You no longer want to be around the activities that your divine masculine, the lifestyle that he lives, okay? You no longer giving him none of that juicy coochie, okay? You're not giving his ass shit, okay? You're done with the bullshit, and you're sitting up here staying focused. Staying focused on moving forward, okay? Because you see that your divine masculine was nothing but a distraction, okay? And you're not letting nobody distract you with they bullshit. And you're not sitting up here giving up that good, juicy, coochie, lottery ticket cooch, okay? You're done with that, okay? Because you feel as though Divine Master don't want to do nothing but play fucking games with you, okay? And this is the reason why you felt as though you needed to let go, okay? You focused on your spiritual journey, okay? You taking your spiritual journey, going down the right path, okay? See this journey as very sacred, which it is, okay? And that is what you are focused on moving forward, okay? <coughs> moving forward, okay? You sitting up here staying focused on the journey, okay? Sitting up here being obedient, okay? And um, doing your life purpose, okay? You being obedient to God because he's been the only one that has been obedient to you, okay? And you sitting up here staying busy, divine feminine, okay? Your divine masculine is sitting up here dealing with a raunchy-ass, stanky-ass, fucking musty-mouth-ass bitch, okay, that continues to do rituals and spell work on you, okay? This bitch study doing foul-ass shit right up under his nose, okay? This karmic partner that sit around him is keeping big secrets, okay? If Divine Masculine only knew how this bitch gets down, okay? 
he would throw up in his own fucking mouth, okay? This bitch is doing everything and some. And this is one of the reasons, Divine Feminine, that you is glad that you got your freedom. You glad you got your freedom, okay? Because you got tired of walking blindly in a relationship with a man, okay, that continued to keep doing the same ass shit over and over again, okay? Then he out here dealing with the fucking hoes and these prostitutes that's sitting up here doing spell work, okay? So I guess when COVID hit, these bitches couldn't work, okay? And I guess these bitches start doing spell work in order to get tricks and, and payments or something. I don't know what these hoes is out here doing, but they doing too much with these rituals to keep on and hold on to these men, okay? Really is, okay? And this bitch is keeping it a secret that her ass do rituals and, and dangle in that dark magic shit, okay? This karmic partner that his ass deals with, this stripper ass bitch, okay? That sit up here, be out here turning tricks, okay? Her ass, okay? Yeah. So now Divine Masculine, he's sitting up here feeling extra fucking jaded, okay? Because he took his chance. Okay, on letting this bitch lead him, okay, fell for the okie doke, okay, didn't know how to say no, okay, and sat up here and then laid up with this bitch, okay, and then got his ass caught up in some shit his ass can't get the fuck out of, okay, and he's feeling some type of way right now extra jaded, extra pissed off, and extra mad, okay, real hurt by his decisions, okay, and wishing that he would have made better choices, okay, pissed the fuck off, okay, that he fell for the bullshit, okay, wanting you, okay, and knowing that you ain't gonna, you don't want nothing to do with his ass, okay, wanting you, but pick this bitch over you, okay, Especially how sweet you were to him, Divine Feminine. You was really sweet to your Divine Masculine. Now he up here having some, he feeling some type of way because he don't know how or what you feel, okay? Or how the situation or the relationship, okay, will be, okay, moving forward, okay? He knows that you ain't feeling it, okay? And he don't know what to do, okay? Not knowing how to approach the situation since he played you, Okay? Divine Masculine wants you to know that he was sitting up here waiting on you to sit up here and um, compete against Trixie, okay? He wanted you to sit up here and play games, okay, and wanted you to chase him, okay, and fight for his love with these bitches, okay? This is what Divine Masculine wanted you to do. Chase him and wanted you to fight over him, argue, try to prove yourself, all that unnecessary ass high school bullshit. He, this is the games that he wanted to play at the age that his ass is, okay? And he's mad that, he, that you didn't, okay? He jaded, he mad, okay, that you end up choosing yourself. You let go of the relationship, okay? And you continue to move forward, okay? You got to sitting up here trusting in God, okay? Listening to your ancestors, okay? Your spirit guides, okay? And let God restore your faith, okay? You wasn't going to let divine masculine break you, okay? Like he used to, okay? <clears throat> You got tired of his ass lying and stressing you the fuck out. And all praises due to God, the God in your spirit, guys, okay? Start glazing, seeing your ancestors and spirit guys up in them stars, okay? And you got to let God restore your faith. Yes, Divine Feminine, okay? You took a leap of faith, and that's one of the best things that you could have ever did, Divine Feminine. Stay focused. Took a leap of faith. Trust in God, okay, and let God restore your faith, okay? You got tired of the bullshit. You got out that hamster wheel, okay? You don't play them damn games, okay? But the cold part is Divine Master really wanted you to sit up here and be stressed the fuck out that he was over here with another bitch, okay? He wanted you to compete, and you the first lady, okay? You ain't got to be no wife of his baby mama, ex-wife, you was the first lady, you a divine family, you are the empress, okay, they need to get up on your level, and he wanted to stress you out so you can come compete with a fucking musty mouth ass, dusty, crusty ass bitch, okay, 
he had the nerve. And this is why your ass is blocking his ass, okay? This is why you no longer want to deal, okay, with his loser ass, his loser friends, and loser ass bitches, okay? You done playing games. You blocking anybody off on that bullshit, okay? You are, okay? Because you take this um, journey you take it serious now, okay? You loving you some God, okay? And you wouldn't dare sit up here and let your divine masculine sit up here and sleep with you, okay? After he out here entertaining stripper ass bitches doing God knows what unknown with these hoes, okay? You refuse to have sex with him, okay? Out he out here fucking with these dirty ass bitches, okay? No. No, Divine Finley says she'll take her good coochie and she'll get on. She'll take her freedom. No, no, okay? No, no, no. And if it wasn't for God restoring your faith and letting you know who you are, reminding you, teaching you how to love yourself all over again, okay, you would have never known really who you are. And it's all praises due to God, okay? You are grateful to let the bullshit go. You tired of that shit, okay? You let it go. You took your freedom and you sat up here and you trusted in God. And that's one of the best steps and best things that you could have ever did, Divine Finn. Blocking his ass, no longer playing games and staying focused on this journey, okay? Knowing that you're going to win at the end, okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about. And this is the real reason, okay? This motherfucker that didn't even think that you deserve a fucking call. And he think that you gonna give him some more coochie. He thought wrong, okay? Mm-hmm. Over there hurt now. Over there feeling stupid. Over there stuck with a karmic-ass bitch that's wearing a mask just like him. Both of them lying. Both of them is deceptive. Both of them ain't about shit, okay? He over there hurt and stuck to this bitch. Why this bitch sitting up here doing all type of black magic and spell work to keep his ass chained to her in the house doing what she want his ass to do. Now he over there feeling jaded and stupid, okay? Had the winning lottery ticket, had the baddest bitch, had Miss Empress on deck, okay? And you had, girl, and then had the nerve to be mad at you. He pissed at you, okay, because you didn't chase him. That's a crazy thing. What he got an attitude of fucking about, okay? Why he talking about you was supposed to chase him? No, bitch. No, mm-mm. You like fucking dealing with hoes and prostitutes? That's what you got. Deal with that shit, okay? And his ass was over there and had the nerve to be up here keeping secrets out here fucking with those type of bitches, okay? Yes, he was, okay? Ugh, just nasty bitches. Bitches that, bitches that you sit up here and pay to fuck, okay? It's already bad enough if a motherfucker cheat on you, but you out here paying for pussy, you out here dealing with bitches that fuck with a lot of different dudes that's turning tricks, that do all type of shit for money. And I ain't got nothing to say about nobody. I ain't judging nobody. But I'm just sitting up here just saying, okay? Divine Masculine didn't have to do what he did. He had a good woman, okay? With some good coochie, okay? He still went out here on some nasty ass shit. And paying for coochie, I just can't with this masculine. Whoever this masculine is, okay? Now his ass over there stressed out and hurting and shit, okay? Wishing that he would have did things in a different way, okay? Sitting up here fell for the forbidden fruit, okay? Always falling, always got a weak ass vessel, always easily fucking tempted, okay? Yes, okay? Mm-hmm. This is why you want to stay balanced, Divine Feminine, okay? Because you realize that the hidden treasure is within you. You realize that you can have whatever type of man that you want, okay, as long as you manifest it, okay? A man come every 15 minutes just like the bus, okay? You ain't sitting up here hurting. You stay in balance. You staying focused, okay? And you ain't having sex with nobody right now. You know what you sitting on. Okay, you know what you sitting on. Hmm. You got bad vibes, I don't like you. Okay, I like when she said that in the beginning of the song. Okay, that just came in my head. Okay, 
But yeah, his ass want to sit up here and spend some quality time after his ass didn't sit up here and communicate with you. After now that everything is going left over there, he want to reach out to you and spend some time, okay? But remember, this is the same motherfucker that's sitting up here walking around with an attitude, mad at you, okay? He know he fucked up, but want to place the blame, okay, as usual. And he said he was waiting on you. I'm too through, okay? Especially when the spirit guys, okay, was sitting up here showing him and giving him the signs. Spirit was giving him the signs, okay, that this relationship between you and him was meant to be. And his ass still went over there and fucked this nasty ass bitch for no fucking reason. He still went and did it. Did whoever this masculine is, he knew who you was. He knew that this was a divine connection. And his ass was still fucking greedy and went over there to go fuck this nasty bitch. Okay? And didn't have to. Okay? Mm -mm. Something about him. Like, fuck you. I don't know if he liked to smell other, other dudes dick on her breath or what. Because why would you want to go fuck with a bitch that's out here fucking and sucking everybody? Okay? And he still did it. What person would want to do some kind of shit like that? That's Russian roulette. And you don't play Russian roulette, okay? With your million-dollar coochie, okay? Girl, please, okay? It's priceless. There ain't even no price on it, Divine Feminine, okay? These hoes put a price on it, okay? Divine Feminine said, I ain't got to give up nothing. Not to Divine Masculine and not to nobody else right now. Divine Feminine said, I'm sitting on my shit, okay? She said, all she want to do... Is heal. Divine Feminine want to heal. She not sitting up here and let nobody sit up here. Okay. Divine Feminine realized that she can't be having sex with certain people. Okay. You can't. Okay. You realize that that's that. Girl. You realize the truth. Okay. Mm -mm. Knock off that chakra. Okay. For real. But yeah, you stay in focus, Divine Feminine. You stay in balance and you sitting up here, you working on yourself. Because one thing about your Divine Masculine, you don't want to be with nobody that is tough to love, okay? You don't want to be with nobody that is tough to love. You don't want to be with nobody that you constantly got to fight to prove yourself in no relationship. Fuck that and fuck him and fuck her too, okay? You done with that blocking the bullshit, blocking the games, okay? That bitch can have that bullshit and who else want it, okay? It shouldn't be that. It shouldn't have to be that hard to love somebody. If it's that hard for a motherfucker to receive your love, divine feminine, there's something wrong with them. Because if people don't like you, it's something wrong with them. Because you is just too sweet of a person. Okay? You don't mess with nobody, divine feminine. You don't. Okay? Mm-hmm. Divine feminine, you might be having a ladies' night. Okay? A baby shower, a birthday could be coming up. Okay? But, hey... Just know that the tea is finna come out, okay? And guess who finna sit up here and come playing the victim with that violin? Your divine master ready to come in and play the victim. Don't want to sit up here and take accountability that he out here like fucking musty mouth bitches, okay? Let's see if he gonna tell the fucking truth, okay? Come in and repent and tell the truth, divine master, that you like fucking hoes, okay? Just keep it real. Divine Feminine will respect you. She ain't going to take you back, but she damn sure will respect you if you just be honest for once in your fucking life, okay? Got the nerve. And still want to come in and play the victim. Still want to come in and play games to sit up here and see and play and pray on your um love for him. He still want to play games, okay? No, Divine Master, she's not giving you no coochie. Okay, no. She's going down her spiritual journey, focused, okay? Divine Feminine is loving herself, okay? Divine Feminine says she ain't got to play those type of games because she know that you her Divine Masculine, okay? She know it. Her spirit guides and told her who you are. Divine Feminine has realized that she can love herself. She ain't got to prove nothing to no fucking body, okay? No. Divine Feminine says she's willing to sit up here and take her freedom, okay? God is restoring her faith and letting her know that he's going to sit up here and send her a good man. Even though Divine Masculine didn't do his his work, God is still going to bless you with a good awakened man. You watch and see. Okay, God said don't give up. 
God says he, he works in the supernatural, okay? God makes it happen, okay? You best believe. But all God wants you to do is to continue to heal, okay? Continue healing, continue working on yourself, and let God do the rest. Because God got a big a big surprise for you. God going to send a good man into your life that you've been manifesting, okay? That is good for you, okay? And your spirit guides and your angels and everybody, okay, is working with you. You've been praying and know that God has heard your prayers, okay? You ain't got nothing to worry about. And God is about to sit up here and send your soul family, send you a female in your life that you're going to be able to be cool with because you know you ain't really had no good streak on having friends and homegirls and people, you know. You know, you always really been a loner. Every time you try to open yourself up to somebody, you got stabbed in the back. So God wants to heal that as well. God wants to heal that and he wants to bring you a good man into your life. And he wants to sit up here and send you one of your soul sisters in your life. There's going to be more of a sister, more loving to you than your own family, than your own sister. Okay, this girl, this female this queen, this empress is going to love you, okay? Y'all going to have different mamas, but the damn show going to feel like y'all sisters. Y'all going to have a lot in common, and y'all just going to click, okay? And God's going to send you that good man, too, but God wants you to heal, okay? Because you've been let down a lot, Divine Family. You have. You've been nothing but sweet. And people that took advantage of that bullshit playing games with my girl. Okay? And it's hard for you to trust. Okay? You And you and you like being the way that you are now. You got trust issues and you stand on that. Yes, I got trust. I don't trust no fucking body. Okay? Surely don't. Okay? But God is going to set up here and send you some good people. Okay? God wants you to unwind and relax and know that he got you and that he's been hearing your prayers know that your spirit guys is around you okay protecting you 24 7 okay give all praises to him okay and make sure you give praises to your spirit guys your ancestors and everyone that has your back okay divine masculine is longing for you seeing now that you is his real true love and divine masculine regrets that he didn't choose you he regrets that he didn't choose you. Now he sees what he should have been doing, okay? He should have been making it right. He should have been attaching himself to the empress, okay? He should have been making you a priority, okay? And now he see your ass is chosen. Now he want to loan for you. Now that your ass just don't give a fuck, okay? Divine Feminine, you open to dating, okay? When that time comes, okay? But you're going to let God sit up here and send you the right person, okay? Just know that Divine Masculine is peeping it too because he think that you dating. He think that you fucking around with somebody, okay? His ass is peekabooing in your fucking windows, looking in the blinds and everything. If you look out your blinds, you might fuck around and see his ass drive down your house, okay? Walk up your street, okay? Hmm girl, because Divine Masculine know that it's cuffing season, okay? Divine Masculine know that you a good catch. He know that somebody gonna sit up here and see your value, okay? Somebody gonna see that damn lottery ticket, and he knows, okay, that you gonna be locked up, okay? Because you's a good woman, and he's fucking right, and he thinks that you about to meet somebody, okay, this winter, okay? And you are, okay? You really are. That these masculines know when these soulmates is coming in before it, well, not before God, but they know before we do, okay? That's why they peeping heavy and watching, because they know that God is going to sit up here and send you, okay? New love, okay? Yes, your spirit guides is sitting up here sending you somebody personally sent from God with a red bow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So be open to dating. Keep on working on yourself. OK, and um, just relax and keep it cool. OK, keep it cool. You don't want to be uptight. You don't want to be upset. You want your energy right. You want to attract the right person. OK. And you are OK. God's going to sit up here and restore your faith in this man. Yes. You's gonna, it's going to be refreshing to have a man that ain't out here playing no fucking games that you can finally relax. OK. You've been going through a transformation, Divine Feminine, okay? 
working on yourself, blooming, everything, just feeling good, looking good. You caring more about your appearance, okay? You know, it don't matter what you put on, you a bad, you just, you just a bad bitch, divine family. You can put on anything, okay? That glow is just shining through whatever you put on, okay? And everybody see it, okay? Everybody see it. Yeah, sometimes you be out and about, you be want to know what people looking at. They looking at that glow. They looking at that honey, that Coco Chanel. Okay, that's what they looking at. Okay, everybody sit up here and see who she. Okay, hmm. And they want to get on that winning team. You gonna be having being a be able to celebrate. You watch and see. Mm hmm. All that stress and bullshit is done. All the chaos spells and shit, that shit's been sent back to sender. Now they over there going through it, okay? Wanted you to be upset. Wanted you to be stressed the fuck out and the shit that went right back to his ass, okay? But it's all right, Divine Femme. You got a brand new soulmate coming in, okay? You surely do. And you ain't going to be able to see it. It's going to come out the blue, okay? Mm -hmm. Good intentions, okay? Wish, continue to keep praying because God wants you to know it's on its way, okay? Surely is. And this is just going to come out the blue, okay? God don't even want you telling nobody about this new love. God just wants you to keep your mouth shut. Keep that shit a secret because you already know your divine masculine and that karmic find out that you got a new man here. They go with that hocus pocus, okay? And his ass is finna be super fucking stressed out when you get that love. Keep your mouth shut, girl. Okay, don't tell nobody. You know how people be hating, okay? Sure is, because this soulmate is coming. God is personally bringing this soulmate in. Yes, he is, okay? And coming in with good intentions, okay? Mm-hmm. In the light, okay? Mm-hmm. Awaken. Good provider, okay? Look good. Nice person. Good for your kids, okay? I told you, get the right, get that um, tablet out, that notebook, and everything that you want in a man, keep writing it all down, okay? And that's manifesting as well, okay? And watch God, okay? You got to pray in detail, okay? Yeah. Hello, okay? And just know, God, and you is calling this soulmate in, and it's true. Mm hmm Surely is, and it's on its way, okay? And you deserve it. So sit up here and get excited, okay? Because whoever this man is, he's going to want to show you off. He want to take you out. He, gonna wanna, he just going to want to sit up here and just embrace your light. He going to really dig you, and it's going to feel refreshing that, this man wants to be monogamous and really see your value right away. It's going to feel wonderful. It's going to low-key scare you, okay? Like, wow, they make men like this? Hell yeah, they make men like this, okay? And one of them is on the way for you, okay? Why? Because you begin, you continue to keep the strength. You continue to keep on believing. You continue to keep on praying, okay? And it's on its way. I'm trying to tell you, okay? So keep it cute, okay? Mm-hmm. Keep it cute, Divine Feminine, okay? Because whoever this man is, he not coming in with no bad intentions. He going to sit up here and make you feel purified and refreshed, and he's going to be awakened. This is just going to be a real good man, okay? He's going to be a good man, okay? That's going to really embrace your light. He's going to really love your strength, okay? Because you know your divine masculine, he didn't like your strength, okay? He didn't like no strength.